think we started. Hi, Fizia. Hi, Oksana. Um, so we're going to do another video today because a lot of people asked. And uh, I wanted to begin with this kind of um, short message. OK, so I um, in order for us to build a society based on uh, human feelings, connection to the soul, very strong connection when you feel through things, when you don't use your mind, but you use your heart, you know, use your gut feeling, use your stomach feeling, you know, that stomach feeling that you get usually when something bad is going to happen. Yeah, uh, most people right now I notice use their brain, the rational mind, because they keep asking about different theories, right? They keep asking about, look at this president and that president. Uh, and from now on, I refuse to look at presidents. I refuse to participate in any system of control and look at it because religion is system of control. Uh, politics is a big system of control and none of the politicians are good. You know, because they all belong to the system and they want to control you, your free will, and they want to write the rules and they want you to fight for the rules. OK, mm, you, you, you are pro the rules, you, you, you don't like the rules, you do like the rules, you vote for it. There can be all kinds of manipulation happening. So it's obviously these are all systems of control, including the uh, right now what's happening. Um, since our planet is taken over by AI, you know, all those alien beings, they are AI controlled, operated, you know, it's like an infestation of AI all over the place. And a lot of people have implants, as you know, from my sessions and via implants, you can put any programs into people's heads. Uh, they all have access to Internet like all you do. They all have posts and they all have channels. They have websites, they can write anything, you know, they can take regular information, twist it, Histo history is all twisted anyway, they can twist it even more, or they can use twisted facts that are already out there and create a new theory. I can create, come up with a new theory, why Putin um, invaded Ukraine every single day, I can come up with a new idea. Uh, to justify uh, the uh, to, to basically make all of you who watch me to shut down and to cut off your connection with your soul to make you into cyborgs heartless cyborgs without any feelings because if you see a little animal on the street right let's say homeless animal what would you do you would pick it up and what feed feed that animal bring to the shelter, do something about it, right? Uh, if you see a child walking by himself or herself, you do the same, right? You would try to find the parents. Uh, if you look at the country, and I have connection to that country, I was born there. I, I, was, I, I lived there for 22 years of my life before I immigrated to the US. And when you see and the whole world sees and knows and a lot of people like I have a lot of clients who've been in Czech, you know, in Prague, in Poland, in Bulgaria, in Budapest, in Romania. They all uh, and they all had sessions with me. They're Russian and Ukrainian speaking people. They have family members in Ukraine. And I, I was like one day I spent just writing. There. I don't know how many people I wrote, maybe 50, maybe 60. It was whole day spent on writing. How are you doing? How is your family? And they all said, well, you know, some of them were coming back to defend their country, to reunite with their family, to find them in some underground facilities hiding from the bombs. And others were still staying in, you know, their, their cities outside of uh, Ukraine because uh, they were afraid that they would get killed. And they, they were making money for the families to, you know, just to make money. Right? It's just normal thing people do. They do it when I visited Dublin. Um, 
when my oldest was little, he was around five years old or six, I don't remember exactly. There were a lot of people in Dublin from um, Bulgaria, from Romania, working at hotels, making money to bring them to the country. So it's it's a normal thing to do, okay? Um, so um, and they all tell me the same thing. It, it's a horror story. You know, they, they are forced to leave animals behind at the uh, when they board the trains to go to Poland. Uh, they cannot bring their um, bags. They just leave it behind because they can only bring a little plastic bag. You know what they're told? My friend was told when she was born in the, the train with three little kids. She said the train is for 54 people, but we are, we are putting 150. If you put, think about it, if you put your bag in there with your clothes, it, it can be one child sitting there instead of the bag. So people hearing that just throw the bags out. They don't care. You know, it's saving a child versus clothes, you know. Um, so if you just make yourself forget about all the theories mm -hmm. and think logically, think from a perspective of a mother, of a father, of a friend, of somebody who knows that it's not just a CGI movie that you're watching, the whole world cannot be watching something fake happening like that. And I cannot be talking to, you know, these many people and they're all lying to me that it's happening. Um, and my, my own brother is not lying to me when he's on the phone, when we're FaceTiming and I see literally black sky and bombs exploding. He's not faking it by showing me out of the window. So if you believe in a theory, let's say, so I'm asked, but they're cleaning bio lamps. People, look at the map of the world. There is biolabs all over the place. Every country is taken over by whatever alien groups and they're malevolent, you know. And there are biolabs, the kids getting tortured every day in every country under the churches because, you know, what churches are doing, sacrifice or babies, all this. You know, think about it. It's all over the place. You know, look what China's doing with the viruses and bioweapons. Look at, uh, you know, what they're doing in any country, basically. It's recorded that priests are torturing kids and, you know, doing all kinds of rituals everywhere. Like, look at the sessions, not only my sessions, other sessions people do regressive hypnosis. It's in every country, you know, and you're just like focusing on, okay, let's blame, let's take that uh, this guy, the um, putler, you know, he's just like a good guy. He's taking biolabs out. But in the process, somehow he's killed. Like, I even lost track how many kids he killed already. I mean, I've seen the mothers kissing babies goodbye from a bombing because they couldn't save them at the hospitals. Um, I, I've seen old people being killed. Mothers, they even bombarded a bunch of uh, maternity. Uh, you know, people are given birth and they're uh, bombing those facilities too. So, I mean, and they opened the green corridors and they were bombing those green corridors too. It's like, I, I know it makes no sense, but this is fascism. This is a genocide of a nation. Nazi. This is Nazi. You, you can give me all kinds of explanations, especially I like the comments, you know, think about it. If you had like your mother or sister or brother or somebody in you know, your country, because a lot of Americans come from different countries here, you know, and uh, they were just like bombarding Paris, let's say, and a bunch of people dead on the streets, like just walking to get water. By the way, uh, yesterday there's one child died of dehydration because they don't even have, they can't even get out from their underground facilities to get water. Um, and I would just say, you know what, um, sorry for the killing of the French people in France, but if it makes you feel better, you know, they're actually cleansing Kabbalah out of your country. And they're cleansing by labs. They're saving children. They, they killed a bunch of pregnant women, children, but who cares about those, right? But they're saving the children from underground. But that's what you are telling me. I mean, people, do, do you think uh, I should be in the wrong mind, maybe mentally ill to believe you in all the series? You probably have to think for yourself at this point. I think because these people I, I is delusional. They're delusional. Um, 
I mean, no they're really, you can tell how bored how bore they, they are. They, you know, this is what's happened with all this uh, technology that because we are in a cybernetic world now, we are already, you know, mix it up because everything is uh, videos. Now, you, you when you, sh you see videos, when actually they kill real, they kill the people, the people are, it's they, like attack. Games. they don't feel nothing. They don't feel everybody don't say, anything. The same yeah, idea. No, it's, it's like, I think, uh, I, I've seen it for myself uh, several times already. I checked on it. How do you make a perfect cyborg, right? How do you, there are multiple ways. Look how they're doing it, how smart they are. First, you can implant person with technology. Like we saw those metallic skulls. I saw on the, on the those are cyborg, you know, killer soldiers. Uh, they're not humans. They look like them, but they're not. And then you can also do the same with kids through videos, through video gaming. Look, yeah. you know, look how fun it is to kill people. So at some point you become totally desensitized yeah. from seeing blood and it seems like it's surreal because it's not happening here. It's happening in some other country. You don't really have connection or you don't know anybody from that country really. But look, remember I was talking all the time was even the in videos with Dave that I would see a pot with the lid getting flipped. Remember that because I noticed a lot of uh, Ukrainian news, they flipped, they actually cover the truth. You know, because the people whom I talk to, they see it with their own eyes that this is the truth. And those very people who before the war actually wouldn't watch TV, now watch TV, because now they confirm with their own eyes that the TV says the truth. So this is the flip here, people. Remember the tables that turned? I kept talking about it for many, many months before. I feel like tables are turned now and you can really see who is who. Some people I used to do, be friends with, would do free sessions for their relatives. They just walked away. You know, they think it's all fake, fake war. Putin is a big hero, you know, p killing like thousands of Ukrainian people. It, 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 it means it's a hero, right? So, uh, and then Russian soldiers are now say, saying like, they force us, they tell us, we'll kill you. It's, on, it's, it's everywhere. In these videos, you know, people take by themselves, people take and put on all kinds of platforms because they say, you know, they told us if we don't start killing Ukrainians, they'll kill us. So we are forced to do it. it now they captured a lot of Russian soldiers and um, pilots and they say they actually surrendered by themselves because they refused to, to bombard Ukrainian people because they say those are villages. Those are people, those are farms, those are animals. They bombarded the uh, bread making factory. They exactly. bombarded all the pe people don't have food to eat because all the everything's down to dust. The and then when we had well, and then we have another boomer, which is, uh, you know, you know what I think about religions, you know, my opinion. Religious is another is I is another uh, I call the the dop, the dop for the poor people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to believe in something external in order to to keep quiet you know the mass so there was an orthodox uh, orthodox um, priest saying that uh, the the great uh, you know uh, putler was going uh, to clean up all the gay nazis <laughs> in ukraine i mean honestly it's like these people are really really they're really sorry but uh, i don't want to use the word is a fuck f up if, uh, because they are completely, I mean, look what, what they what they are they are behind, okay? Because uh, uh, I mean, uh, is um, it's just a brainwashing people, and what do they do when they brainwashing people? They started like North Korea to shut uh, shut down all the social uh, social media and to arrest all the people. They are they have independent news. In fact, the last independent news in Russia. They had to close, uh, I don't know, it was three days ago. And it says, uh, unfortunately, we have to close because uh, the dictator don't want, they don't want that we say that we, we, we that Russia inv invaded Ukraine. This is that is a, exactly. is a operation. So rain, it's called Russian channel rain. It's a opposition channel and they shut it down. Uh, uh, I would like I to ask a question. 
watch it because Russians tell the, the truth, he said. And I start watching them and they're saying, you know, people, they literally se like separated the whole nation here. We're living like in a big concentration camp. If you say something against Putin, you're killed or you're in jail for life. Yeah. My question is, who ask Putler of this operation? Who? He, he was taking evil forces he was taken by evil Not forces mean, yes. this the evil war forces for the, for the real people for the people that use their brain the people that have a little bit of brain left sorry guys if i talk like that but honestly who told him who asked him for help who a group of uh, anarchic of or whatever because that is a it's like in italy Somebody in says, Italy. oh, you come to Italy because uh, to save from uh, Rome. I don't know. That that for me is the same because if your country is independent, it has a, 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 a sovereign and why you, who, who ask you, who contact you? Right, but also like they, 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 they uh, the narrative they give, they feeding to Russians, right? first so we came to take lugansk and Donba or like donbass or whatever the areas so several cities they came to to uh, basically they said the nazis are, are torturing the people who speak russian in those cities <laughs> my brother is like my brother speaks russian okay he says like i walk everywhere in kiev speak russian they answer me in ukrainian they answer me in russian most people in, in in Kiev speak Russian, but we actually love Ukraine. We love our country. This is our country. It doesn't matter what language you speak. There are two national languages. So they're saying that they're suppressed. But look at the grammars. Look at the all this all those cities walking against the tanks in large groups without any guns, any ammunition, saying, stop, go home, people. We, we, we love our, our country. We don't want you here. So who are they saving? And OK, well, then another this theory contradicts the other theory. So if they're saving and taking all those Russian speaking cities back to Russia, why would they go bombard the Ukrainian cities who are totally? I mean, though, I, I, I know those little villages, OK? In my group in the uh, immunology department where, you know, I was there for five years in the university, in my group there were 11 people and eight people were speaking only Ukrainian, right? I was speaking Russian, they were answering Ukrainian. They were all friends in one group studying immunology to become immunologists. And they were from little, um, uh, you know, they were from this little uh, villages that they bombarded to dust. Those people are like, or Ukrainian people, they don't know a word in Russian, okay? Like, why would you bombard them? Why, why, why would you destroy all their little poor houses? Why would you kill animals there that they have? Like, dogs are running around, like, people are living behind dogs and cats at the... Uh, it's very sad, all your animals, because animals are family. Uh, Pets are family. It's really, it's really break, break, break my heart, honestly, to to see this animal that always was with the beloved uh, owners, and now, and now they are, you know, they they probably die with star starvation or or the bombs or because probably the soldiers they use them like as a target. It's really sad. It's very, very sad. And these people, where they, they are in denial, is uh, really I. I Honestly, it's time to to stop it, to you know, and to be re to be obviously uh, to be I don't know to be serious, to be um, to have a credibility, okay? Because we know we we do esoteric uh, investigations, and uh, we know we saw already even yesterday in the in your in, the, in your channeling, I I'm already saw things as well when I go uh, when I when I dream is is terrible what is happening. And actually, the underground, we are, the underground bio labs, which uh, which people, some uh, you know, propagandists see, basically is uh, they are on the ground, not under, because they're killing children. They're killing the children. Who, who's the reptilians? So yeah, you kill so many uh, civilian people yeah. to cleanse some labs, to destroy some labs. You don't do it this way. Like in remember, we did like sessions with Dave too. By the way people who like the, you know, our trio, 
uh, you, you, you remember how they were cleaning underground facilities and saving kids here in the U.S.? Mm -hmm. did, they, did they bombard the USA cities? Did they kill the USA families and citizens? Did they shoot at the cars? You know, people got to the point, they put like huge letters, DT, it's, it's children in Ukrainian, and they still, bomb, they still shoot those cars from the tanks. There's a family with like, I, I saw it with my own eyes, and my, my, my friend saw it too. She's like, Sana, this is insane. You just look inside the cars, and this horror is like, kids like in blood, and the, the mom is driving, and she's dead, and the, the, it's like the whole family is dead inside. Who does this stuff? And, and those are the ones with disease. Those are the ones, you know. They, which is the, like a swastika. I told you yesterday. Yes. When I put yeah. the they, yeah. It's we put two they's together. It's the, the, the Nazi. Look, this is what the Russian tanks. They put in the, in the, yeah. yesterday. I, I yesterday I put, but it, because I had my background. So yes. this is like what you see. But if you put another they, another they at contrary, look is exactly look is exactly mm -hmm. the nazi symbol wake up wake up people wake up so by the way uh, we have a traffic organs of children in uh, in mexico did you did you do with all your superpower did you do anything to stop it and it basically is in front of everybody right it's a famous yeah. cartel and what are the people doing from a side another? This is why we have to stop to choose a side or mm -hmm. another. Nobody's good or bad. They are all corrupt. They are just a bunch of greedy people that they love to be on power, okay? And behind them, there are entities, there are aliens that we, we can tell over, over and over again, evil forces. This is why one day the world, the real world that we see will be uh, basically a lead by a community which everybody had their duty not just a man a freak that can dictate your life okay because yes, it's like yes. a modern monarchy guys the the other people. where rich people are on the top the poor are really down and you don't count nothing you are just a, a vote a vote for what and when you really need something they don't give a damn about you wake up the people that they nurture in all this system they have to wake up that's it yeah because yeah. if if you say look look at the picture like mm, so it, it's like cut off if you see a picture right uh the the systems of control religion politics pharma all this cut them off with scissors right mm -hmm. the only people look at all the people were doing so I see my Polish uh, clients writing to me, Oksana, I'm hosting Ukrainian family. You know, I, I, I'm, I took them from the street because they fled Ukraine. And then, you know, I got like Romanian people writing to me. I got Georgian, you know what Georgian people told me? They said they'll never forgive Putin for doing the same thing to their country. And I forgot the number, but they killed the same thing people, children, mothers, grand grandmothers, you know, elderly people, babies, they killed there too. And there's even a joke now that people from all those countries who've been attacked by Russia, there's a joke, I mean, it's very sad, but they say, well, put in this... Russia, but by Putler. Russia is very unfortunate because <laughs> neighboring countries, uh, according to their protocol, <laughs> to their story, you know, all the neighboring countries kill each other, kill their own people. So when they invaded uh, Georgia, guess what they were saying? The Georgians are shooting their own schools. I was just told this by my Georgian clients today. They, there was the same narrative told by to Russians. Look at Georgians, how bad they are. They're shooting their own people. In fact, there was Russians shooting their people. And the Georgians who lived there told me because they saw it with their own eyes. And now they're the ones to open their borders to Ukrainians and say, welcome, friends. You know, because we know how it is when your own family is getting killed before your eyes. We know we've lived through it. We're not buying into this fake theories of bio labs and cleansing, whatever cabal you're cleansing. You have to cleanse the whole world. Let's just nuclear detonate the whole world. Cabal is everywhere, people. 
You think it's not in, in the US? You think it's not in England? <coughs> I mean, guys, come on. You know better, right? Yeah, but it's fake. Oh, you know, yeah, of course, it's all fake. I'm just trying to reason with people because sometimes I, t I, I see comments, I'm thinking it's either that person lost her mind or his mind completely, disconnected from the reality via technology implants, or just uh, forgot that you have a soul-mind connection and maybe you have to check with the soul before you open YouTube and watch all the series one after another and write to Oksana and asking how about this theory, that thing. People, I don't have time for theories. I refuse to, to actually even uh, read them or listen to them because I trust my heart, I trust my soul, okay? That's what I trust. I mean, if, if a Fizi is in pain and saying, hey, they're shooting everybody in England, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna tell her to come to the US because I, I can care less if you tell me, oh, they're just cleansing England. Yes, yeah, there's a bunch of reptilians there in their palaces. Of Don't course, because you're right. a friend, you trust me. You, you know, you, you believe me what I, what I'm witnessing, and not that they're not spreading any, any fake news. Because you can see, you can hear. The, the thing is, uh, you know, in this, uh, what I, I always learn is when there are um, situations very, very difficult in life or tragedies, or in this case, um, pandemic situation. Now, you know the. The risk of a, a war, a global war, is when you see who's your real friend. It is uh, the people which where the where they have the true colors. They show the true colors basically. Okay, and you see even the in the people by the way, the way they comment, the way you can see them. How, I mean, I, I'm re I'm very impressed of the beautiful, beautiful comments of the people. They have a really hard compassion and um amazing and and they obviously they are some, some you know the little reptilian li, 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 the, the little egg <laughs> they are there always to trying to you know what i mean it's you know all these people they i mean i don't say that uh, everybody has opinion i respect that but uh i mean uh, when is an intelligent opinion is always where i come when people just is connecting to uh, for my accent, uh, because I, I, I my accent is too strong, or because we're talking about uh, all the time war. Oh my God, boring. Then people just get a lot, lot of channels, and just go there. You know where they, you, your ego will be satisfied, where you can slug off, where you can be angry, because this is it. You know this is the programs, uh, what they want. Okay. Disruption, disruption between people, uh, divided impera in Latin, which is basically people they fight with each other, which is usually is the poor people, the simple, the ordinary people, and the big ones they are with a cigar laughing, you know, laughing, sit in the bunker, and you guys, you know, fighting for the freaks, basically. Right, yeah, they're like playing the chess game. This the Matrix is a big chess game. Like you know, those pawns are just like little poor people. And here, I mean, the soldiers. It breaks my heart. The Russian soldiers. I mean, uh, how can you call? It's it, it's like my my oldest son's age, eighteen. Like you know what I mean? They're just standing. They're so little. Like the faces are still like children, and they're saying like. We were scared. They told us they'll kill us or do something bad to us if we didn't do it. So we did. But, you know, and they they are the ones who had the courage. They're the ones who have compassion. And they're the ones who said no. And they ran away from them through the woods and surrendered to Ukrainians. And, I mean, there's so many videos, like, they talk about how they tre treat it in the Russian army. And I told you, right, they're just, like, all over the place now, a video, how the Russian boy in Russia burned up the uh, military facility where they were sending letters from to the Russian young, very young boys to go fight with Ukraine, because now they don't even have, um, they don't even have uh, tanks anymore. They, they don't have people, they don't have tanks, because you just don't come to the neighboring country who's peaceful, never threatened you in the past, with war like that, 
killing civilians, you know, and you just normally, like a normal person with feelings, you would say, okay, we're doing this, whatever you call it. Do you want to call it military operation? Okay, call it military operation. Just tell them that we're not going to touch kids, babies, pregnant children, elderly people. We're only going to fight, like, you know, by the rules of any war, you know? We're not going to lie to you that we're going to open the Green Corridor, but then shoot those people walking through the Green Corridor to, to border the buses. Well, they lost control because they they, they, they are... Obviously, they, they, I think this this why the when we saw the reptilians, the amphibious coming from the sea, they need to eat. They need people. This is definitely is like vampirism. They need souls, okay. And this is why they they basically are killing civilians, fresh blood. This is what they needed: blood, blood, blood. Because why they don't bombard the you know the nuclear um, you know uh, you know center. Because they know they explode as well. I mean, if something happened in Ukraine, it can happen uh, all around Europe. Six reactors, if easy. Yeah. Imagine uh, the power of it. Well, it's the biggest uh, in more. Europe, this this station. Ten so times more than the, the, the people disaster. Take, people don't understand how serious that was, this explosion there. Because I mean, my friend, whom like we went to demonstration with, uh, her mother lives like real close to that station and she saw the fire. She was calling her here in Chicago, freaking out, saying that I think we're going to all explode here. Like, and the whole Europe is going to be covered in nuclear dust for, for hundreds of years or something. Uh, she was really freaked out and people were scared because they they saw the fire from their houses. You know what I mean? It's really frightening. It must be really that is frightening, you know, because that you know that is terrible. In fact, I have idea, you know, next session that we're going to do, we're going to to basically to do an esoteric investigation with Chernobyl. What's happened real in Chernobyl and if the all this, you know, new you know, because many people died of obviously radiation, but they created monsters as well. So we have to understand as well who's behind that. And open the portals. Ephesia, every time they drop a bomb, mm -hmm. I, I, I've, you know, I, I told you today I slept like I didn't really sleep, but I was lying for six hours during the day. And it's amazing, like, you know, I, I, my body was, it's kind of almost like paralyzed in a way because it was so heavy, I couldn't, I was in a deep trance, but I, I was aware I wasn't asleep. And I was like flying all around streets of Kiev, you know, my little villages that I visited as a little girl, everywhere that, I mean, Ukraine is my country, okay, this is my home. And like, I could see it so clearly, I was putting like blue webs all over, protections over the old buildings that I love so much, brick roads, you know, little cafes, like all of my favorite places. And then I was given like the blue balls of energy to people, just, you know, you're going to be fine. Well, winning. Well, we won already. Just remember that. And this is what I was doing for six hours because I didn't realize for me, it. I felt like it lasted 10 minutes maybe. But then I was thinking, wow, I went to sleep at four but got up at 9.45. Because obviously you are exhausted, you are constantly connected. You you told me that you was, your body was, you felt your body was vibrating and being there. You wasn't even here, uh, you know, in your, in your home because you are basically seeing, witnessing. You, you was in the middle of a battle. And this is what, uh, yeah, that's when people definitely uh, as you know, uh, you can feel that is what is happening is real, especially with people. They have special gifts like you. They can uh, obviously, they can split in the body, and travel there. You know. I feel I felt like I saw. I looked at the soldiers energetically. They're totally demoralized inside. I see the um, the light is so tiny. Or the the soul's light. And they're literally, you, you, you know, this feeling when you did something real bad and you just want to be like gone from the face of the earth feeling for, for, for that or like if something bad happened and you feel like 
I wish it was just a bad dream. That that's how they feel. And I believe that they're gonna surrender. They're gonna give up. They're gonna refuse to kill people. And I believe that in the, this um, court they opened in Gog. Ironically, one of my best friends from Chicago. Uh, they signed the contract right before she's extra from Azerbaijan. People of Azerbaijan, Armenia, they went through hell and they've been attacked. Uh, they've been, and there's Russia always behind, you know. Sorry, people, to break the news to you, but um, Russia attacked a lot of people. Estonians and Latvians are stand with Ukraine. They've been attacked by Russia too, and they've been threatened by Putin that they belong to Soviet Union that he wants to recreate. He wants all those countries that used to be in former Soviet Union to take them back and recreate the big country of Soviet Union. And nobody wants that. He's delusional, but it's not even him. It's the uh, you know those alien groups are delusional. We're trying to do it because like a rational human mind. I, I don't believe that a human soul would ever do anything like this. It's a massacre. It's a genocide. It's a mass killing of people. It just it you just, never heard uh, you know somebody that is a good savior. Twenty years in the power, <laughs> it's twenty years. You know, and, like, and, and people hate them. Like most most of my democracy go to me. They're Russian. They live in Russia. You know, they went through all this. First, they cut off all the. They close the IKEA. They close the, your oh, favorite stores. They close the, They close Starbucks today. Oh my! We can't even drink coffee anymore. Like people, do you think the whole world will be closing everything and taking their businesses out of the country, if that country wasn't like something wrong with it? Maybe a little something wrong with it. Like it's like, like uh, the, it wants a new North Korea, you know, like this other, uh, you know. Mm-hmm. He's gone crazy and people say people uh, starving, dying in North Korea because they don't have food. He he is fat. This is the example of people, what the people like, uh, you know, all this crazy because they become crazy. The ego it becomes so big, so big that they can't even see the you can't even see with their own eyes. Reminds you reptilian brain, right? Those who operate him. It's like destroy, destruction, killings, and deaths all over. Because it's a death of his it's own. Always the, it's always ended up like that. With this, you know, like eleven thousand young soldiers who could have kids, who could have families, who actually have loved ones, who uh, some of them already have children, were just killed because Ukraine defends their own people. Because when our soldiers realize, hey, you know, they're killing my my wife, they're killing my my children. I better defend myself. We have a reason, actually, why we're killing them. Yeah. They don't have a reason. They, they, don't, they don't have a reason because they are. Us. They don't even understand why they are. Just because a freak uh, leader, he wake up and uh, you know go and. It's either prison, death sentence. Uh, young Russian soldier said. They told us they'll kill us for real if we don't go and fight. So, I mean, here you go. They're stuck in the middle. The only solution here is for the world not to think about theories, not to justify the killings on both sides, two countries, people. It's not, I'm not saying that Ukraine is only suffering, Russia is suffering too. And when those people wake up from the shelves, uh, of their markets being empty because they live on import, imported goods. Okay, that's the truth. They, 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 they don't have their own economy because the whole economy was for buying tanks, for buying ammunition that they're using. You like to see all these people, the, these propagandists, to go to help the, the Russian people, you know, in this situation. If they have the gut, if they have the, the balls to go yeah. there, you know, and, you know, and to live in this regime, okay? That's what I what I think. And the people can like or not. I need mean, to say no to their government, no to those people. They, be, they better put like somebody from 
who lived through the horrors of not having bread on their table as a president. Not like somebody from KGB. I mean, you you have to understand, I speak Russian, I speak Ukrainian. I listen to what Putin says. He uses the phrases, like if you, because I studied that subject, you know, the war stuff, what Stalin used to say in school. I remember that stuff. He uses the same phrases, the same strategies like Stalin would use against his own people, killing his own people. We need, you we need to we need to change the software maybe when we need to tell the it's the same software he's running you know it's and maybe it's, they must change you know like microchip <laughs> yeah it's very hard also with easy i watch so many uh videos posted by on instagram by ukrainians by russians now too okay ukraine russian soldiers behind the backs of their commanders posting people this is the truth they gave us the food and its expiration date is, you know, 2015. You can't eat that. They're killing their own soldiers by not giving them the good food. So they're posting it on Instagram and I watch it and it's all in Russian, in, in American or English speaking, French speaking, German speaking people in the world cannot understand what they're saying. I can. I'm telling you, you know. In fact, all this information, just for confirming what you said before, that you 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 show me, uh, you know when we communicating. Uh, they arrived after three four days in the in in UK uh, BBC, the, the the confession of the these uh, soldiers that they was rescued because they were starving. They 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 show it after four or five days. So this I can see many 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 informations. They are quite you know correct what you. You send me even for uh, uh, no, random videos that there, there are lots, lots of Snapchat. Snapchat is basically videos where they they, they delete after 24 hours. My son, he went, uh, he showed me. I said to him, "Don't show me anymore," because I'm a mother. And to see, uh, I saw a lot of young soldiers, unfortunately um, from both sides, dead. And I, I felt honestly it was a breaking heart and because I'm a mother and the day was probably 17, 18, my son is 18. It was like, says, so don't show me this. I don't, I don't even look. Not because we don't want to see the reality. It was, it really was terrible. Ter but this is it. This is the reality. This is, this is people is dying. People is dying. Innocence. People that should go to, to, to the nightclubs to have a girlfriend, you know, to study, to go to university. You know, to do anything they want to travel, not to dying for, for a, a, a freak. And I always, over and over, I'm going to repeat this. Leaders mean greedy monarchs, okay? Okay, we have to go because we are, I think, very out of time. And uh, yes, we can go to do, we're going to do an investigation um, probably tomorrow. Um, if you it's tomorrow, yeah, and we're going to channel guys for investigation definitely. So thank you so much. Oxana. Yeah, yeah. I, everything I was telling you, I I've researched it so many times for myself, yeah. by myself, for my brother, because now my brother who didn't believe in what I was, you know, on my channel, didn't really watch my videos. Now he actually uh, says, Oksana, a lot of things you're saying is like coming true. And yeah. he started asking me like, when is the war going to be over? What do you feel like this and that? Can you check on that? And you know, um, b because it just people, souls who incarnate in anybody, doesn't mean if it's a human or any other planet, they incarnate to get experience to live through a life to get experience and to keep an experience in their souls a theory dna to use it further to evolve to progress to expand right expansion of consciousness non-stop happening then they didn't come here to incarnate in a body of a little baby to be killed by a russian soldier just because he was told and somebody was holding the gun to his head, telling him to kill the family, was the old baby. So they're not supposed to die in this horrific death. They didn't come here for this. Think about it. People, uh, right? Because we are travelers and we're going to travel between, uh, you know, time doesn't exist, basically. It doesn't, uh, in, uh, doesn't exist in, in, uh, in the 5D uh, uh, present, past and future. 
I hope that we can come back and we reframe everything in this. Is in this. Uh, Right. This is what we're looking for, to reframe, uh, to save all these children, uh, children that are already dead. And they, are, they was all in, in their the mother, you know, uh, belly. So, and we're going to reframe. This is uh, is definitely one promise that we're going to, you know, to rescue them and to change the events. Because this is what's possible, guys. This is possible. Change the events, okay? I believe they're going to be re, um, you know, they're going to be reborn in other bodies. It just, the pain of a mother losing a baby for nothing like this, that would hurt me the most. It's like, if you don't wake up to this reality, and I believe that people will wake up slowly from all this programs, AI theories and all of this, and someday, you know, they will understand that Ukraine actually took the blast as a country to to help the world get rid of Nazis. That's the truth. The Ukraine truth. is the country who happened to be the strongest to show the world, hey, they exist, evil exists. We better understand it now and gather together and eradicate it, you know, take it out of our whole planet. Not only one country. Every country has evil, but let's get all together and like take it all out from each and every country, each, each and every inch of this planet. Of course. Of power, you know. But that's that's my last words. And um, once again, you know, I I don't I don't watch any conspiracy theories like that uh, because they are conspiracy theories generated by AI technology for you to make you disconnect from your soul, from your mind your heart from your feelings to lose your compassion um, and I'm not gonna look at any truthers at any politicians uh, you know they're all um, they're all dolls they're all mannequins they all buy robots stuffed with AI generated technology implants running the software programs so there, it's pointless to look at them and and I'm not you know, going by white hat, black hat, rainbow hat anymore. You know, th there's only one thing I go by. Is it does a person have compassion? Oh, it, it is another thing. You don't take money as well for. You don't go to Telegram and to be paid to say this information. You don't make money for. I don't have any channels. So spread no me. sense. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and all the investigation sessions, and I'm gonna do another one in Russian. Uh, thanks to Valeri from Toronto, you know, in, in this Thursday, I'm going to do it's it's free. OK, I'm doing it for free. He's my former client, but I don't charge for it. Some people actually charge for investigation session. For me, I feel like even if I help five people to understand something through what I speaking, then, you know, I, I did something important. In that's, that, that is lot. That is lot. And we're going to send uh, all this bless and uh, a lot of energy to everybody uh, that people they listen to us and they want to sh they want to share. Um, remember, everybody, uh, if they have doubts, because only intelligent person have doubts. OK, and uh, yes, and they have always to to make the self questions. OK, right. yeah, it's through analysis, self analysis. And looking at the picture close to you, big picture. You know, not all the um, programs are bad. It, it, it's the same like, think about a person can have a session, be totally clean. If easy, you know how it happens. And then you go into low vibrational mode of being debted to somebody or very angry with somebody, you get entities. So today this person is good nice acting nicely and tomorrow this person is killing somebody because he got attachments mm -hmm. the same thing with tv with mass media because mass media is supposed to work for people we're changing the world one step at a time think about it maybe we change some mass media to work for people too think about it it's not always is going to say stay the same. You, you're saying yourself, people, we're going to a new world. Here's your new world. 
people in the media waking up too. You know, I see some Italian guys like the singer guy, right? He he talks openly about Nazis in Italy, you know, like making you the the uh, this um, famous thing with passport mm -hmm. and pass and and his his videos are never deleted by YouTube. So I asked some of the my friends, and why is that? Like you're speaking in English, and your videos deleted about it, and he's a not Italians. Many many people they have the, the videos deleted in Italian to to no. mention. Ah, you know what? I, uh, by the way, about the the jobs, I just read that they are starting to admit that the um, basically the coronavirus was basically um, a, a human mistake. They're starting to admit, you see, it's yeah. coming uh, out. Well, <laughs> Apparently, there will be a lot, a lot, uh, obviously, but this summer there will be a lot, a lot of arrests. There will be mass arrests. There will be a big, big, uh, this is, will be a, a nice cleanup. <laughs> Giuseppe po Povia, right? Povia, yeah, yes. He's the guy, but he openly talks about everything that, my videos were deleted for saying something about this, this, my videos, YouTube deleted my videos, and he's talking about it all the time. And I asked my friends, like, why do you think? And they say, because people who control his channel or watch his channel. Russell Brand, you have to watch Russell Brand, the English, the British one is amazing. I love him. Russell mm -hmm. Brand is fantastic. This is a guy that I really, I, I suggest people to, to watch. Because it always tell, you know, is 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 a very genuine guy. Yeah. And, and uh, yes, it's, we resonate a lot with him. We have to go, unfortunately, because I have to go to town. Here is a uh, guy, seven, seven in the morning, seven thirteen. <laughs> oh, yeah, and <laughs> here it is one fourteen. Yeah. Ooh, Good number, huh? This I can see. It's very dark. Here you can see the lights. Yeah, and the, the building <laughs> behind is yellow and blue you know flag it doesn't matter if we are on the other side of the world but still we can say yeah what we think what comes from our mind our hearts and the, uh, by our soul not what, what others that want to you know everybody have uh, you know right, right to do destruction to your soul you, you you're distracted from your own soul connection to your soul by all those things, you know, because you you all of a sudden you stop feeling in and you know channeling your subconscious, but instead you're watching somebody talking about it repeatedly on repeat, one channel after another, and just because these people are popular doesn't mean they're correct. Remember that. I'm not saying I'm correct either. If you don't, if you cannot um, accept my information or you're totally well, don't watch it well, but, uh, i mean if you if you resonate of people if people they don't uh, they, they think what we say what we say is rubbish this is this is what they and it's uh, up to them you know it's it's okay exactly. it's still okay it's fine it's fine with me but that's my truth mm -hmm. and it's important for me to say the truth because this is my honest opinion this is what i know that's what i've researched that's what i heard from other people who actually living through this reality of war, not those people who just watch it on YouTube, you know? <laughs> so think for yourself whom you trust and what you trust, you know? The information is out there to confuse you big time. I believe me, every day new theories are created for you to get confused and disconnected from your soul. But stay connected. Well, I just wish you love and peace. That's all I wish you, you know, love because it's very high vibrations. High vibrations yep. for everybody. And yes, keep strong, keep smile, keep a fight, keep a fight for the truth, you know. And yeah. this is the only fight we have to do, the truth. And to be free, especially. Yes. Well, thank you for <laughs> support and everything. Okay, bye. Bye, everybody. Till next time.